hey guys welcome back so this is not a financial advice please don't make any financial decision based on this this is just for purely educational purpose so let's assume chat gpt would be a new financial portfolio manager as well as your investment analyst and let's get started with a portfolio pilot which is the chat gpt plugin which climbs to do the following uh, the first thing is it climbs it can do etf search company comparison easy portfolio import run portfolio import portfolio analytics next investment suggestions security details and stock search these are the things it claims it can do and in the follow up one uh, we will also be looking at something called uh, david swenson model using which we are going to do some prompts so if you want to know what david swenson model is so david frederick swenson was an american investor uh, and endowment fund manager and a philanthropist he was the chief investment officer at the yale university from 1985 until his death in may 2021 he invented something known as the yale model an application of modern portfolio theory commonly known as uh, in the investing world as endowment model his investing philosophy has been dubbed the swenson approach and is unique in the stress allocation of capital in treasury inflation protection securities government bonds real estate emerging markets and domestic stocks and the developing world uh, international equities his investment success with yale endowment and has attracted the notice of wall street uh, fund managers and other universities so this is the performance of it barring an year in 2008 financial crisis this model has done pretty well so let's test if chat gpt is able to answer some of the uh, our prompt based on this model using portfolio analyst so first thing first go to your plugin and in plugin we have to enable the plugin so let's head to a plugin store and search for portfolio analyst so it should be somewhere here mm, yeah I, i think it keeps changing they have added a couple of more plugins so it's exactly not at the same place where it was so as of now it's on page 11 on the left most so i'm just installing that okay so we are done i'm done installing so let me go back here and i should see portfolio analyst it's selected so let me ask chat gpt one question to start with so are you familiar with this one david swenson model allocation so let's see what chat gpt says okay and the next prompt will be providing it is uh, so let's see if it can allocate our portfolios based on what we are asking so yeah and this is basically what the model is and you can always google this model to get a better understanding i explained you in brief what this model was it's mostly deals with diversification so let's see if uh, our prompt is able to do it as you can see it's now using the uh, portfolio pilot and it has used it uh, let's wait for it to give us what uh, we want so this one is relatively tough even for a uh, professional fund managers to do so let's see if a prompt can pull off uh, what we are looking for again i uh, don't bother too much on what output it's giving because uh, uh you should not be making actual financial decision on this but it's purely for just educational purpose on where things are heading in future so it's just better to look at what's coming before it strikes you
Okay. So it's giving us some ETFs here where to invest. So it gave us Vanguard, it gave us iShares and uh, the easiest way you can do is you can just go to your 401k, check some of them. So this should be there in your 401ks or if it's not there, then uh, if you don't have a 401k, that's still fine. Uh, you can look at some other apps where they list uh, portfolios. So I just don't want to get into more technical details on each of these ETFs. So that would make the lecture boring for most of them who are not familiar with the terms. But this one is just, uh, I'm pretty sure many of you would have uh, already had uh, your meetings with your financial advisors discussing where to invest your uh, retirement funds in. So after that, let me try another prompt. to see if it can help us with diversification. Yeah, again, uh, we already know that only three plugins can be enabled and one of the three is uh, our portfolio pilot here. And yeah, it's uh, not super quick uh, because I think more people are using this to play around with it. So if uh, more people are using it, the performance of the plugin is relatively uh, not super fast at the moment. So I hope they fix this eventually. But uh, this one is uh, we are just looking at all the possible scenarios you can do with each one of the plugin. And uh, after this, let's also look at uh, if it can interpret some sentiment and season seasonality um, in some stocks. So we'll also look at those part of it and okay cool so yeah it gave you some suggestion and uh, always check with your financial advisor this is just purely for educational purpose so don't uh, trust chat gpt to make your uh, retirement funds initially without uh, using it to study actual real world performance for some time. Personally, I would do that. But again, it's totally up to you. Uh, it is uh, my job to um, put the disclaimer out there, whether you follow it or not is up to you. So I'm asking it to provide uh, the market commentary to the situation we are in where rates may have peaked. And I've asked it to provide a uh, what happens when the rates peak till the Fed begins to e ease and generate charts to tell me uh, uh, how the returns are. So it says US producer prices creep up again and US freight prices reverse sharply and inflation is still uh, positive across the board and US financial stress index moved lower which is a measure of uh, stability of financial market has been decreasing. This could be a positive sign for the economy. And export prices grow year on year uh, slightly lower. And these are the insights. It is important to keep an eye on this indicators for more detailed analysis. Okay, so it pointed us to a link. If you click on this, it's actually their app. You can register and use it. So that basically converts uh, uh, completes this portfolio analyst. This is one of the financial plugins. There are a lot more. I've seen this seems to be a popular one among what people were discussing. That's why it made it to my lecture. And see you in the next video on the next plugin. Thank you for joining.